Oh man, few years later, man. How you doing? Three years later, my guy Filthy Rich is back. I think you be doing that on purpose with everybody. You give people three years and then come back. <laughs> I've been seeing a couple of your interviews always three years later with you, man. It's your favorite hey, number. Hey man, seen. you 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 still you still flossing? You you still popping your shit? Yeah, they print this shit up every day. You you just came out with a fire tape solidified. Oh yeah, appreciate it, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, hell yeah, just dropped. Uh, what on the first? Yeah, I think we posted that on Say Cheese with the collage with yeah. all the different tapes. Yeah, a I've lot of people yeah. tapped in, man. You know, you'd be surprised. It's a lot of people outside of the the West Coast area that 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 fuck with you. Like you have a huge cult following. Yeah, for sure. A lot of the, uh, the street dudes, you feel me, from different states and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So why solidified? Why the name? Um, it kind of just fit the tape. Like you know, I was kind of going through shit. You know, throwing, you know, people throwing fake, you know, accusations, allegations at a nigga, and just like, you know, letting them know like, like this, this shit solid over here. This shit solidified. You feel me? This shit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't none of that fake shit. You feel me? Right for sure. You know, I'm big on YouTube. I'm a student of the game, so I'm always looking at what's going on in the streets, what's going on on YouTube. Yeah. You know, every everybody now, they're uh, conspiracy theorists or they're yeah. YouTubers and bloggers now. Yeah. And when I'm when I'm tapping in on the West Coast, a lot of people like to come at you. You know, I don't know. I don't even know these guys, but they're. Yeah exposing you and yeah. you know, trying to put your dirt out and bringing up old shit about cars and I mean you know you gotta understand right it's like like when niggas be in competition and it's like okay you know I wasn't the best rapper coming from where I came from but uh you know a nigga was successful and uh you know eventually became bigger than some of the best rappers. And, uh, you know, I mean, when you're in competition, you know, the rap game, you know, it's competitive. So it's like, you know, when you see a nigga take off and blow past a nigga and shit like that, if they not solidified or solid or stand on principles and morals and shit, you know, the fake shit gonna come out of them. With the, with the hating, with the allegations, with the, you feel me, all, all that shit, that's, that's, how, that's how it works. So a lot of these people who are exposing you now, well, quote unquote, exposing yeah, you. You can't and, expose the uh, real. Put, you can't expose the real, bro. You can't expose the real, bro. I, yeah. I give you. I give. I give people my life through my music. So like, you can't expose the real. Like, if if a, if a nigga just saying something, it's just you just saying something. You get what I'm saying? You just you you just you just saying anything that that's come to your come to your brain. You get what I'm saying? Without even not even not even knowing what's true and what's false, right? So a lot of these guys, you knew that they they knew you, you know, before nah. you became who you are. Nah, nah. So it'd be like a nigga might damn that feel like he got a relationship with you just watching your vlogs or your videos or or pull up in your hood one day and see you out there. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? My yeah, I know, I know, shine and. And and he was like, where you know him from? Oh, yeah, I did an interview with him years like 10 years ago. <laughs> and you don't know that nigga, you did an interview with him. Or you or he did a song with a nigga, or you feel me? Or yeah, it's just, you know, these niggas be having like relationships with a person in their head, or they feel like they know a nigga. You get what I'm saying? It don't be that. Cause like keeping 1,000, none of the niggas that's like my immediate, my day one niggas, this is this is none of the, you feel me? Them niggas still around. So these is niggas that I met along the way type shit. You get what I'm saying? That nigga really didn't never did even fuck with. Right. Yeah. Now, why do you... Because as you know by now, rap is some of the fakest shit in the world. Yeah. Like, yeah. And you're well off. You're doing your thing. You have all the cars, all the clothes, women, money. I mean, it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't about that. Why rap? Why rap? Keep it real with you. I ain't really, I ain't even told nobody, but Solidify was my last solo album. You get what I'm saying? And I've been, I've been trying to stop rapping due to the fact, like, you know, wanting to be the guy behind the scenes. You get what I'm saying? The ANRs, the moguls, the CEOs, you know, 
the manager, shit like that. You know, I mean, I never wanted to rap forever. Just like, you know, you got you got your um, platform. I'm sure there's other opportunities that came for you to do bigger and better, you know, and um, you want to be able to touch everything. Like, I just, just didn't want to rap, like, you know, so I've been trying to just fall back, you know. I got offered an a um, r job at Empire, so that's what I'm going hmm. I'm to I'm take that up when I'm done. Okay. Yeah. 